years ago, I set out our vision of Singapore as a global Asia node of technology, innovation, and enterprise. Our economy will be one driven by innovation and digitization. Singapore will serve as a launch pad for multinationals and regional corporates to access Asia and for Asian enterprises to go global. Our enterprises will compete on value and reach new customers. And these enterprises will be powered by a skilled, adaptable, and Asia-ready workforce. To support this vision in this budget, I will introduce a set of measures to drive our transformation and growth strategy. There are three key thrusts. First, enabling stronger partnerships. Second, deepening enterprise capabilities. Third, developing our people. Including sums allocated in previous years, I'm allocating a total of $8.3 billion over the next three years to enable transformation and growth. Mr. Speaker, sir, the government appreciates the concerns of our workers and enterprises. In the immediate term, we are facing headwinds with the shocks and uncertainties. But in the medium term, we are facing deep structural shifts in the global economy. We have to tackle both challenges head on. The government will support our enterprises and workers with the near-term challenges through the stabilization and support package for workers and enterprises. To, to tackle medium-term challenges, our transformation and growth strategy will support efforts to deepen enterprise capabilities, develop our people, and forge stronger partnerships through our tripartite structure. By positioning Singapore as a global Asia node of technology, innovation, and enterprise, we can ride on the next wave of structural changes resolutely.